Okay, well, after a long debate with myself on where to go fishing, I decided to come back to Decker. Um, it is Labor Day weekend, and so a lot more traffic here than, than usual. Uh, when I left my house, there was it was like just dead calm. Uh, when I get here, there's actually a I won't say strong, but um, you know there's a breeze coming in from the east, kind of kind of coming this way. So I'm trying to figure out what my best plan of attack is in terms of where to where to go. I'm debating about going along the dam so I can stay out of the wind, but I'm pretty sure they're going to start schooling this afternoon. So I kind of want to be down in here where I think that's going to happen. So, yeah, I think maybe we'll just head over to that other side. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how the day goes. Hopefully, hopefully this wind lays down a little bit and we get them to start schooling. Um, or, or maybe I can even just find some spots where, you know, I typically come up and see if we can't get a few down on the bottom. Uh, even if they don't come up to the top. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's going to be another beautiful day, though. All right. This is the ply I'm going to start with. It's kind of a little, I don't know, minnow pattern. We're in 50 feet of water right here. And I just saw, well, it's probably a gar come up. Um, but I was like, hmm, just on the random chance that <laughs> there's some schooling bass here. I'm gonna give it a toss real quick and we'll see. That flies um, doesn't have a ton of weight, so it should stay up pretty high. Um, it's kind of cloudy, so I'm thinking, uh, you know, they're not gonna be at the bottom, although they might. Oh, look, they're schooling right over there. I'm gonna, yeah, that boat just stopped right where they're schooling. I'm gonna head over there. Okay. <laughs> swapped out we're gonna go with this bigger fly a lot heavier it's gonna get down we swapped out to the sinking line we're in 34 feet of water here but oh look you can see them popping right up there by the shore too um i've been you know it's 20 something right there in front of me i've been seeing them kind of jump around a little bit and there is some structure down there. got one ah, little guy Ooh. Ooh. there we go that was right off that hydrilla line just a little guy there we go thank you all right there was a bunch of school and bath right here I got here. Got him. <laughs> Sweet. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a nice one. Wow. <laughs> Oh yeah, check that out. That is a nice bass. Ooh, that is a 19 inch bass. Very nice. Ah, oh, schooling right here in front of me. Well, I'm gonna get him undone and then we'll see if there's another one hanging out over there. Dang, thank you.
Got him. This is like a big blue beetle. No, little bass. Just a little bass. Wow. <laughs> a micro bass. Thank you. Well, that was in the deeper water. So, hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, right there. Holy moly, this is a big one. Oh my gosh, he hit that hard. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Holy cow. Man, he, he hit that hard. That is another beautiful Decker bass. Dang, he's probably another 19. Oh, he's only 18. 18 nice very nice oh thank you sir Got him. Nice. Look at that. Right out here in this flat. <laughs> oh, he came off. Perfect release. Very nice. Man, right here. Let's kind of find that happy medium between none and some. Maybe right there. Got him. Feels like another nice one. Another decent bass. Ooh. Right there on that lip. Oh, there you go. Man, that's a pretty one. Thank you. Why? All right. All right, we're gonna let that get down. I'm not sure why I'm spinning this way here and I span the other way over there. Another nice one. Oh, we tail hooked him. Hey, he's not that nice. We just foul hooked him. Oh, dude. Yeah, little guy. <laughs> my, uh, I broke my other fly, which I didn't think was possible. But the lead eye actually broke in half. Um, so I decided to go back to this um, and I'm going to go over here on this flat where all that hydrilla is and with this fly here it doesn't dive that deep so um, should be able to get up on top of that grass and, and get a few there um, without getting snagged up in all of it that's the theory anyway 
we'll see how that pet plays out just wanted to stop on either side of this channel and try it here real quick before we head over there Got him. There we go. A little guy. Oh. But oh, but a bass on the left with the perfect release. <laughs> All right, bud. There you go. Thank you. Alright, it says it's three feet deep here. Which I think seems shallow. I think it's more like five, but oh yeah, hydrilla of it. Got him. There we go. It's still like a bluegill. A little one at that. Sweet. Uh, that's a pretty one. I love catching these because they're so pretty. Thank you. Whoa. All right, there is a lot. Oh, a lot of hydro here, Ooh. which should translate into a lot of fish. We'll see. <laughs> that fly should go right above all that hydro. Got him. A oh, little baby bass. <laughs> Catching a lot of these little guys today. Yeah, he's just tiny. Okay, GoPro just died, but we just got another one right here in front of us. This flat always seems to produce, so I don't know what it is about it. And another nice little Decker bass. Thank you. All right, I'm calling it a day. So it was pretty slow. I mean, it was beautiful weather. Uh, it was like this all day. It was just perfect. Um, and uh, but the fishing was so-so. Uh, we caught some nice ones. I, I was just hoping that uh, we'd get into some schooling ones. Not just you know, other than that one, it never really happened. And, uh, and then, you know, trying to get up against the reeds and stuff. They just, they just weren't hitting today. Not really sure what was going on. But, uh, man, like the streak of absolutely beautiful days in Central Texas continues. It's so nice to get out on the water. Cannot wait to come back and do it again. Till next time.